and everywhere present and still as salty, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction. In the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and aid thee out of Zion. May he remember all thy sacrifice and fatten thy whole burnt offering. <clears throat> May he grant thee according to thy heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We shall rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now have I known that the Lord has saved his Christ. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is wrought in mighty acts. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord. They are overthrown and fallen, but we are risen and set upright. O Lord, save the king and hear us in the day when we call upon thee. The king shall be glad in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation shall he greatly rejoice. Thou hast granted him his heart's desire and hast not denied him the request of his lips. For thou hast gone before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee. And thou gavest him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation, and glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. And thou shalt make him glad with joy by thy countenance, for the king hopes in the Lord. And in the mercy of the Most High he shall not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find out all them that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven at the time of thy presence. The Lord shall trouble them in his wrath and fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the sons of men, for they intended evils against thee. They devised counsels which they cannot establish, for thou shalt make them turn their back. In thy remnant thou shalt prepare their face. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We shall sing and praise thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As thou wast voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by thy name, O Christ God. 
Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries, by bestowing on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O awesome protectress who cannot be put to shame, despise not our prayers, O good and all him Theotokos, confirm the habitation of the Orthodox, save those called upon to govern to us, and to grant them the victory which is from heaven, for thou hast given birth to God and alone art blessed. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Land, 
So have I appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. If I remember thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee. For thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has held me. But they sought after my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be delivered to the edge of, delivered up to the edge of the sword, they shall be portion for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by him shall be praised for the mouth of him that speak unjust things to stop. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and climb the near to my supplication. For my soul is filled with evil, and my life is drawn nigh into hell. I have encountered with them that go down to the pit, and I have become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more. And they are cast off from thy hand, they lay me in the lowest pit in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thine anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy ways upon me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintances far from me, they made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not gone forth. <laughs> Mine arms are weak from poverty, I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day. I have stretched out my hands unto thee, wilt thou work wonders for the dead? Or shall physicians raise them up, that they shall praise thee? Shall anyone tell of thy mercy in the grave, and of thy truth and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the darkness, and thy righteousness in the land of first forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why dost thou cast off my prayer, and turn this thy face away from me? I am born in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled in distress. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water all the day long, and surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thy, incline thy ear to my supplication. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thy iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all them that are wronged. He made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so is the Lord has strengthened his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our iniquities from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows our hearts, and he has remembered that we are done. As for man, his days are like grass, as the flower of the field shall he flourish. But the wind passes over it, and it shall be no more. And no longer shall it know the place to rise. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Upon him that fear him, and his righteousness to children's children. To them that keep his covenant, remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne into the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, are his angels, mighty and strength that do his word. Hearkening to the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, O his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, O his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication, thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the earth. He has set me in dark places like those long dead, and my spirit was despondent within me. My heart within me was troubled, there were days of old. I meditated on all thy deeds, on the works of thy hands that I meditate. I spread forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts for thee like water in land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit has failed. 
turn not thy face from me, lest I become like them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul unto thee. Deliver me from mine enemies, O Lord, I have fled unto thee for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me to the land of uprightness. Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake and thy righteousness. Thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy, thy mercy thou wilt lay waste mine enemies, and thou wilt destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and do not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and do not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, 
keep us, O God, by thy grace. Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages.
us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee,
mercy on us and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our lives unto Christ our God. Sacrifice of righteousness with oblation and whole burnt offerings. 
substantially offer bullocks upon thine altar.
hast blessed of old by resting from thy works. Thou bringest all things into being, and thou makest all things new, observing the Sabbath rest, my Savior, and restoring thy strength. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Today thou dost keep holy the seventh day, which thou hast blessed of old by resting from thy works. Thou bringest all things into being, and thou makest all things new, observing the Sabbath rest, my Savior, and restoring thy strength. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast gained the victory by thy great restraint. Thy soul was parted from thy body, yet by thy power, O word, thou hast burst asunder the bonds of death and hell. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Hell was filled with bitterness when it met thee, O word, for it saw a mortal deified, marked by wounds yet all-powerful, and it shrank back in terror at this sight. Isaiah saw the never-setting light. All thy compassion is manifestation to us as God, O Christ. Rising early from the night, he cried out, The Becoming a creature formed from dust, O Creator, Thou makest new those born on earth, The winding sheet and tomb point, O word, To the mystery that is within Thee. For the honorable counselor fulfills the counsel of Thy Father, Who has gloriously refashioned me in Thee. Glory to Thee, our God, glory to Thee. Becoming a creature formed from dust, O Creator, Thou makest new those born on earth, the winding sheet and tomb point, O word, to the mystery that is within thee. For the honorable counselor fulfills the counsel of thy Father, who has gloriously refashioned me in thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By death dost thou transform mortality, and by thy burial corruption. With divine power thou makest incorruptible the nature thou hast taken, rendering it immortal. For, O Master, thy flesh saw not corruption, nor was thy soul left in hell as that of a stranger, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Coming forth from a birth without travail and wounded in thy side with a spear, O my Maker, thou hast brought to pass the recreation of Eve. Becoming Adam, thou hast in ways surpassing nature slept a life-giving sleep awakening life from sleep and from corruption by thine almighty power. Jonah was caught but not fast in the belly of the whale. He was a sign of thee who has suffered and accepted Thou wast torn, but not separated, O word, from the flesh that thou hast taken. For though thy temple was destroyed at the time of thy passion, yet the person of thy Godhead and of thy flesh is but one. In both thou art one Son, the word of God, both God and man. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou wast torn, but not separated, O word, from the flesh that thou hast taken. For though thy temple was destroyed at the time of thy passion, Yet the person of thy Godhead and of thy flesh is but one. In both thou art one Son, the Word of God, both God and man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The fall of Adam brought death to man, but not to God. For though the earthly substance of thy flesh suffered, yet the Godhead remained impassable. That which was corruptible in thy human nature thou hast transformed to incorruption. And by thy resurrection thou hast revealed a fountain of immortal life. 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hell is king over mortal men, but not forever. Laid in the sepulcher, mighty Lord, with thy life-giving hand, thou hast burst asunder the bars of death. To those from every age who slept in the tombs, thou hast proclaimed true deliverance, O Savior, who art become the firstborn from the dead. Jonah was not, but now I fast in the belly of the whale. He was a sign of thee who has suffered and accepted burial. Coming forth from the beast as from a bridal chamber, he called out. wept to see him hanging naked on the tree. The sun hid its rays, and the stars cast aside their brightness. The earth shook in mighty fear, the sea fled, and the rocks were rent, and many graves were opened, and the bodies of the saints arose. Hell groaned below, and the Jews considered how to spread false tidings against Christ's resurrection. But the women cried. This is the most blessed sign. Salvation, who seeing, O God, our deliverer, blessed art thou. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. 
O oh, happy tomb, it received within itself the Creator as one asleep, and it was made a divine treasury of life for our salvation, who seeing, O oh God, our Deliverer, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The life of all submits to be laid in the tomb according to the law of the dead, and he makes it a source of awakening for our salvation, who seeing, O God, our Deliverer, blessed art thou, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In hell and in the tomb and in Eden, the Godhead of Christ was indivisibly united with the Father and the Spirit for our salvation, who seeing, O God, our Deliverer, blessed art thou. up the fallen tabernacle. The second Adam, he who dwells on high, has come down to the first Adam in the depths of hell. Him do ye children bless, ye priests praise, and ye people exalt above all forever. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The most pure temple is destroyed, but raises up the fallen tabernacle. The second Adam, he who dwells on high, has come down to the first Adam in the depths of hell. Him do ye children bless, ye priests praise, and ye people exalt above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. The disciples' courage failed, but Joseph of Arimathea was more bold. For seeing the God of all, a corpse and naked, he asked for the body and buried him, crying, Him do ye children bless, ye priests praise, and ye people exalt above all forever now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O strange wonders, O love and infinite forbearance, he who dwells on high is sealed beneath the earth with his own consent, and God is falsely accused as a deceiver. Him do ye children bless, ye priests praise, and ye people exalt above all forever. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, sing nature was I blessed at thy strange birth, for I was spared all travail. But now beholding thee, my God, a lifeless corpse, I am pierced by the sword of bitter sorrow. But arise that I may be magnified. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O sun without beginning, in ways surpassing nature was I blessed at thy strange birth, for I was spared all travail. 
But now beholding thee, my God, a lifeless corpse, I am pierced by the sword of bitter sorrow. But arise, that I may be magnified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By mine own will the earth covers me, O Mother, but the gatekeepers of hell tremble as they see me, clothed in the blood-stained garment of vengeance. For on the cross as God have I struck down mine enemies, and I shall rise again and magnify thee, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let the creation rejoice exceedingly. Let all those born on earth be glad. For hell, the enemy, has been despoiled. Ye women, come to meet me with sweet spices, for I am delivering Adam and Eve with all their offspring, and on the third day I shall rise again. second tone, let every breath, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Glory to 
Stratoparion of the prophecy in the second tone. Prophesy 
prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, saith the Lord. John, the Prochimenod, in the seventh door, arise, O Lord my God, lift up thy hand, Forget not thy poor forever. Sinners will perish 
before the face of God. But let the righteous be glad. the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember how that impostor said while he was still alive, after three days I will rise again. Therefore order the sepulchre to be made sure until after the third day, lest his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people, he has risen from the dead, and the last fraud will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go make it as secure as you can. So they went and made the sepulcher secure by sealing the tomb with a stone and setting a guard. and safe. 
let us ask of the Lord. Lord is Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord is Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Lord is Lord. Peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Is the Lord. We may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Is the Lord. Christian, your name to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Save us, for he is good and loves man. 